Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see interview questions on SAP implementation, SAP MR, top five implementation questions, interview questions. Okay, the first question they may ask you is, what have you done in implementation? What have you done in the implementation? The implementation. First thing you can say is, I create an organizational structure. Once when I enter into any implementation project, I create organizational structure. This is the first question, first you have to say. Okay, and the, how to create organizational structure, I've just provided a link in the description, check the link. Okay, so organization structure. Second, you can say like creation of BP configuration. BP configuration, business partner configuration. This is also one of the key concept in implementing a project. Okay, this is a key business processes in implementation. Okay. The third is, this is also, I have provided a link in the description, check the link, how to create business uh, partner in SAP MM. Okay, third is material master configuration. One by one, one by one, we'll see all this. Okay. Material master configuration, a link has been, again, a link has been provided in the description, check the link on the material master configuration. Okay, third is integration with other modules, specifically with the FIC group. So integration is specifically with the, FIC or finance and controlling, and that also we'll discuss today. And a link has been provided in the description. Check the link. That is very important. Integration with the other modules. You have to create it. As a, if you are doing any implementation, you have to do implementation with other integration with other FI with other SAP modules, like predominantly FIC. Final is data master data uploads, like supplier master, material master. Okay. Now, the next slide, let's go to the next slide. Okay, everything is nothing but the confidence. You have to speak in a confident way, such a way that what are all these things you have done in implementation. Okay, first is organizational structure. In the organizational structure, you have to talk with the business. You have to talk with the business, that is client, you have to talk how many plants they have, all those plants you have to create it in. SAP system. How many storage location you have and all those storage locations you have to create in the SAP system. In SPRO settings. And how many purchase organization you have, you have to create it in SPRO settings. Okay. Enterprise structure. Organizational structure or enterprise structure they say. And then you can say like you have activated the plant. Plant activation. What, and they may ask you what were the steps involved in plant activation. Okay. You have to say like there are certain Transaction codes in plant activation. Okay, all these transaction codes we see. OMX1, OMX2, OMX3, CKM start for activating the plant. Material ledger. Material ledger activation. That is plant activation. CKM start. Okay. You have to see material ledger activation in the organization organizational structure. You did an implementation during the implementation, okay? And they may ask you, what are all the relationship between company and company code? Company and company code, one to many relationship. Relationship between company code on plant, company code, one to many, okay? One company code, multiple plants. They may ask you relationship between purchase organization to plant, many to many. Many purchase organization can be assigned to many plants. A, a link has been provided in the description, check the link, okay? This organizational structure I have given in the link. Okay, all this you can see. All these points you can see for the implementation. Okay. Next slide. Let's go to PP configuration. This is very, very important. And it's it is mostly one-time activity in the SPRO settings. They may ask you what is the steps involved in PP configuration. First of all, PP is nothing but creation of vendor or creation of the customer. That is creation of the supplier. Okay, they may ask you what is the steps involved. Okay. You have to say like account group assignments. Account group assignments in OMSG transaction. You create account group, you create account group in OMSG and you have to do assignments. You have to create number ranges also. Okay. Third point, you have to create number ranges. So the main aim of this account group is whichever the fields are mandatory fields, they may ask you this question definitely. What is the significance behind OMSG transaction code? That is account group creation. Okay, you have to say like number ranges, number range creation, 
main aim of this, main significance of this OMSD is account first is number range creation and whichever the fields are mandatory fields, whichever the fields are optional fields, whichever the fields are display, whichever the fields you have to suppress. Okay, all this will be determined by OMSD transaction. Okay, yeah, link has been, again I'm telling you, a link has been provided, we just check the link. Okay, for BP transaction. Okay, now, and you have to assign, after creating the account group in OMSD, you have to assign it to VN. VN stands for vendor. And you have to assign it to DP. DP stands for delivery plant. You have to assign to GS, good supplier. GS stands for good supplier. And you have to assign account group to PI. PI stands for invoicing party and OA, ordering address. All this you have to assign it in the part time determination. Okay. All this you have to assign to OMS. A vendor can, a vendor, if you are creating a supplier, he is a vendor, he is a delivery plant, he is a good supplier, and he is a invoicing party and ordering address. All this you have to assign. And you have to create number ranges and grouping for business part. Number ranges grouping for business partner. Okay. Because a business partner can have a vendor, multiple, you can have a vendor which has multiple, multiple, which has multiple vendor uh, delivery plant associations associated with it, multiple roles, I mean to say, multiple roles also associated with the vendor, okay, and you have to create BP role grouping. So the BP role grouping, they may ask you, what is a BP role grouping? FLVN00 and FLVN01. FLVN00 is finance vendor and FLVN01 is purchasing vendor. Finance vendor and purchasing vendor. Here we, in FLVN00, we assign company code to the vendor. In FLVN01, we assign purchase organization to the vendor. Okay. This is very important. And uh, link, again, I'm telling you, a link has been provided. Check the link. You will get lots of ideas on that. Okay. Now, next question they may ask you is material master configuration. This is also one-time activity. Okay. You create a material type. What is a material type? A raw material, raw material, finished goods, semi-finished, raw material, ROH, raw material, foot, finished goods, semi-finished, halt, HLB, halt. Okay, these are all consumables, packaging, BERP, packaging. Okay, lot many, lot many are there. So we create an OMS2, material type. And they may ask you what is there in the OMS2? What will be the attributes in OM, OMS2? They may ask you. you. You have to say is user department. User department is associated. User department is nothing but plant, plant attributes, storage location attribute, purchasing attribute, all those warehouse attributes, accounting attributes, all those are all assigned in OMS. You can assign it in OMS. A link has been provided. Again, I'm telling you, a link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Okay. And number ranges, MMNR, you created an MMNR. They may ask you, what have you, what have you created in the material master configuration? So you can say like, you can, you, you create a material, uh, external material, that is external number range and internal number range. For certain material, you have to create external number range. For certain material, you have to create an internal number range. Okay, so, so that material you have to ask with the business. And you are saying those external number range and internal number range accordingly with the business, according to the business. Okay, that is material master configuration. Okay, you create number ranges in MMNR. External number range in MMNR and internal number range in MMNR. According to the material from the business, you get the information and as create and assign according to the business. Whether it is a, the material is external number range or internal number range. Okay, that is material master configuration. A link has been, again I'm telling you, a link has been provided in the description. Check the link. You get lots of information from that link. Okay. And this is very, very important. Integration with FICO. You have to closely work with finance consultant, FICO consultant. Okay. So all this, all the general ledger, general ledger is nothing but we create the general ledger 
account in F zero zero transaction code. Okay, no, not MM consultant will create FICO consultant will create. Okay, so that will be assigned with OBYC transaction. OBYC transaction. A link has been provided in the description. You can check the link. Okay, again, I'll show you this also. Let's go to the live system and I'll show you OBYC transaction. OBYC transaction. Okay, now BSX inventory posting. See here, inventory posting. You can say BSX. What, what, raw, what is the integration point with the FICO and MM? You can say OBYC. And if they are taking you in, if you are the, if they are asking you what are all the transaction which is involved in integrating with the FICO, then you can say BSX, GBB, WRX, and consignment payments. Spawn. Okay, WRX is IRGR clearing account. GBB is offsetting entry for inventory posting and BSX, inventory posting. Okay. Go to OBYC transaction code, scroll down, see here BSX, Internet INT is chart of, chart of account, you can get it from your FICO consultant, he is the one who created this chart of account, INT, that's the end of it. Okay, see here 3000, this is valuation class from material mass, okay. This is the account where it gets posted. When you do goods received from the vendor, that is when, when you buy any material from the vendor, the material will be posted in the this account. This account will be created by FICO. And the transaction code for creation of this is FS00 transaction. FS00. Let me enter it here. FS00. Got it? Now come back. OBYC. Let's go to OBYC. Now, Next is, let's go to the slide. Let me show you the slide. GBB, offsetting entry for inventory posting. Let's go to GBB. Here, in OBYC transaction for page down. GBB, page down again. GBB, CM, GBB, offsetting entry for inventory posting. Execute, continue. CM, 3000. This is the account which gets posted for, in for inventory. This is the account. Got it. Now, next is WRX. GRIR clearing account. GRIR clearing account. WRX. Come back. Come back. WRX. WRX. See it? WRX. GRIR clearing account. See it? This is the account where it gets posted. Upon doing inventory invoice verification, this is the account gets posted. This is the invoice verification. What invoice verification? Okay, now KON, consignment payable. KON. Now come back, consignment payable. Page up. For consignment stock, it is, this is the this is the point of integration, consignment stock. So this is the place where it gets posted. 6900-9900. Got it? Okay. Now a, a link has been provided. Three, four links have been provided. Check the link. Okay, for consignment, I have posted a link. For uh, subcontracting, I have posted a link. Check all, all those uh, links, check it. Okay, that is the integration with FSO. All this they may ask you in the interview. Okay, don't miss the point. Okay, any of the points. Okay, now come back. Finally, master letter. Either you can do it in LSMW, Legacy System Migration Workbench, or LTMC, Legacy Transfer. Migration cockpit, legacy transfer, migration cockpit. Legacy LSMW, I have posted a video. So it is uploading of data. That is, for example, material master, I'm just uploading into the production. Directly, I'm going to upload it in production. So during that, cutover activity will be there. There is a concept called cutover activity. Cutover activity. Where the system will be halted. No transactions will be allowed. No transactions will be allowed. And all the master data, material master will be uploaded during the cutover activity. And after uploading all the master data, that is material master data, for example, now the, the server will be, they have up the server. That is, they, the server will come to the live. Okay. Until then, it will be put out to halt. It will be some three hours or four hours. Okay. Three hours or four hours. Until then, the server will be halted. Okay, no transactions will be allowed. That is cutover activity. They can upload uh, material master. They will upload uh, uh, 
supplier master or customer master or some of the important some of the important transaction records all those will be uploaded during this cutover activity okay during this cutover activity so these are all the main questions they may ask you in the interview okay i have made a cut short of all the questions and i did my best to tell you what are the uh, interview implementation interview questions okay thank you